Hey YouTube, hey internet, hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Digital Preneurs. As usual, it's Balix Hassan here at the Digital Preneurs. Okay, so I've been struggling with uh, one of those uh, errors that some web designers encounter, many web designers encounter, when your Elementor form is not submitting, alright? So I'm designing this website for this client and when it came to testing the forms, I found that the Elementor forms were not submitting. So I'm just going to walk through what I did to solve that challenge. So uh, as you can see here, uh, what I did, the first thing I did was to to first get rid of the capture. Of course, my, by virtue that the recapture is showing, it shows it was uh, it was. Uh, set up correctly but that's the first thing i had to do so if when you click here on the form and go to the form uh, settings first thing i did was uh, delete the recapture then when i went to test the form i found that actually uh, the form was still not submitting so the recapture was not the issue okay then the next thing usually the culprit is uh mapping uh field mapping all right so because uh my my actions after submit i included uh mailerlite which is a well-known email marketing platform um i had to go to the mailerlite settings to look at whether my mailerlite field mappings were correct all right so when you look at the email section here of course uh, it's selected correctly name uh, selected correctly and then a phone number selected correctly all right so when you look at the the mappings email address name and phone number it was all selected correctly so i updated went back and found that the the field mapping was not the culprit uh because still the form was not submitting then that could mean that uh, we had to check uh, something else so which other action after submit did we have it was the email all right so what this means is once the form has been submitted uh, the the back end of the WordPress site has to send the admin the, the admin emails uh, a notification all right so I went to those email settings and I checked and then once I checked it, they were correct, the correct email addresses. But still, the WordPress site was not sending emails. Then I realized that we had a problem with the back end of the emailing uh, of uh, our email system. So all I had to do was go to the back end and install something called a plugin called uh, uh, WordPress Mail SMTP. All right. Uh, if you want to install a plugin, you know how to install plugins. I don't. I don't have to take you through that. Just install WP Mail SMTP and then uh, set up, uh, come to the setup here. So I put my my uh, business email address, okay, the client's business email address, all right? And then, of course, uh, you can set this up the way, the way, uh, the way uh, correctly, basically, not the way you want, but correctly. Yeah, set up with your business uh, email address and then uh, the name uh, that will appear when it sends the emails all right and then uh, the return path uh, make sure that is selected and then here I selected other SMTP yeah because I was going to use uh, my SMTP settings from this uh, business email address all right so fill in those SMTP settings correctly um, each of these uh, providers has these settings. So if you go into your webmail uh, inbox, you, you in most cases you'll find uh, these settings. Yeah. So what I did is uh, set up these settings correctly for the SMTP host. Uh, that was my SMTP host. Of course, I use SSL. Set up the port. Uh, if you're a designer, I'm sure you know this. You know these settings and how to get them. Then the SMTP username will be that business email address and its password. All right the password to that business email address and then save so after i saved settings i had to go to the now you have to test that these settings work all right 
go to the tools to, to test that these settings work go to the tools right here and then send yourself an email uh, send uh, you put in uh, here your email address so that you send yourself a test email all right so send email then it should show you a success message here if it doesn't it will show you an error message but it will tell you exactly where the challenge is okay the first time i i did it it told me my dmark settings were not set up correctly so i went and set up my dmark settings i will do a video on how to set up your dmark uh, settings all right uh, if you want that video uh comment below on how to do dmark settings or you can go to any other youtube video there are many out there on how to set up your dmark but i will do one as well all right so once this was a success i when i went back to this form so let's go back to that form let's refresh and then click let's put in refill again and then say download ebook so this time the submission was successful and then it sent me to the, the to the redirect page all right yeah so uh that's basically it just make sure that you check uh so your your checklist should be number one is the, is the google recapture set up correctly if it's not then you work on that uh if you don't know how to set up your google recapture you can check uh on youtube there are very many videos number two is are the form uh mappings with your email marketing platform it could be mailchimp it could be active campaign it could be mailer light have you mapped the fields correctly if that is not the culprit then the other thing is your wordpress backend is having challenges sending emails now that's when you install uh the uh, wp mail smtp plugin and then set it up correctly and make sure it is sending emails correctly uh, with with those three checklists i'm sure you'll be able to solve that problem easily uh, i hope this video was useful to you if it was please subscribe uh give it a like and until next time it's balix from digitopreneurs saying at vista bye bye